Good morning, YouTube. Um, this morning, we're going to uh, <clears throat> work on a different type of uh, carving again. This is this is also a, a little cheap carving to make if you're uh, looking for a little cheap stuff to carve. This is a avocado seed. Uh, I split it in half and then let it dry out on a table for a couple of weeks, maybe a month. Uh, yesterday, I made I had a smaller avocado seed and I made a little turtle. I don't know if you can see there. I'm going to try to make a different kind of a turtle out of this one. It's a little bigger. So we're going to... This carved really neat. And uh, I think I'll make it a fun little video for anybody wanting to learn how to carve. You can carve one of these and see how it works out. Okay, well, today we're making a carving out of an avocado seed. Uh, these are... Uh, Turns out these are pretty neat to carve. They're uh, pretty hard. Uh, not quite as hard as the togwa nut that I carved on a different video, but uh, still uh, hard enough to almost feel like a little piece of wood when they're uh, dried out. And I think I let it dry for about a month or so. And was they were plenty dry to carve they they shrink quite a bit whenever they're drying out so uh, but I didn't have any problems with a hollow spot inside or anything everything was seemed like it was solid so if you want to make a little pendant or uh, I don't know how it would hold up as a keychain I don't know what you would you know, if you wanted to make a solid design with that little thing sticking out you could make a uh, probably make a little keychain or something or necklaces or whatever you want to out of them <clears throat> but turtles are fun and they're already shaped like a turtle so you don't have to carve much away to make them make a turtle out of them Here I'm using the uh, tile bit just to uh, take material off a little bit faster. I was using a, uh, on the first one I did, I used the uh, little diamond grip bit, but uh, it was a little bit slow. I wanted to speed it up a little bit for the video, and uh, this uh, tile bit worked pretty good. You can see I switched over to the diamond grip bit to... Uh, just get in where the other one wouldn't fit. It was it's an eighth inch wide, and this carving isn't very big, so this was uh, using the smaller bit to get into the smaller places. I just go on uh, Google Images and look at photos of uh, different types of turtles. Uh, picked one out that. I thought it would be interesting to carve and uh, trying to think which one this one was. <clears throat> oh, a map turtle. It's called a map turtle. Because the uh, back of it, they said, looks like a map a little bit. It has some lines in it that are uh, just coloration lines that aren't in mine, obviously, because I don't have the same coloration. But. Um, this uh, avocado seed had some uh, pretty neat colors to it, though, so it looks nice when it's done. I have a few more pieces of it, so if I uh, figure out something else to carve out of them, I'll make another quick little video out of them. Different types of turtles have different types of designs on their back, but uh, these these two that I did had uh, similar designs, just one that was, uh, had a lot more texture than the other. So this one here has a lot more texture. It was a little bigger seed, so I could cut into it a little further. I 
actually had almost some little uh, spiky things sticking up on its back. I couldn't, I didn't get real high with the spikes. I wanted to just keep a little bump there just to give the indication that there was some texture to it. I said it feels like a, a little hard piece of wood whenever it's done. So that's kind of neat. Since I started the channel, I'm finding all kinds of different things to uh, carve. Uh, pretty neat learning all the different things. There's uh, a lot of different textures. Some of them are really neat to carve. This is uh, probably similar to carving like a soapstone or something. I think you can carve them before they get real hard. When they start drying, I think you can carve them with uh, uh, little gouges or knives, and uh, they're still pretty soft. They're actually kind of flexible, and then whenever they dry, they shrink down and get real hard. So uh, there's a couple different ways you can carve them. I just I just let these ones dry out, get nice and hard, and then uh, carve them after that. So. First one I carved it was a pretty smooth shell. It didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of texture to the shell, which uh, made it go a lot faster. This one here I had to uh, go around and make the uh, each little uh, bump on the on the shell stick out. So it takes a little bit longer, but it uh, has a lot more texture to it and looks pretty neat. The nice thing about Google Images too is you can uh, get different views. So if you need a view of as a, a top view of it, you just put in top view of a certain type of uh, animal or turtle or bird or whatever you're looking at. It'll give you that view of it, and then you can get uh, side views of it and uh, bottom views. Uh, so you can get a lot of different pictures of the same carving makes it a lot easier to detail out. The uh, <clears throat> seed was a little bit short where his head was, but I just tucked him back in there a little bit as turtles do. They kind of tuck back in there sometimes, so his head's kind of pulled back in a little bit, but uh, I got it on there. It looks, it looks pretty good. found this stuff was really good practice for doing little detail stuff. You can really get in there with it. Those little toes in and little itty bitty tiny eyeballs. Anytime you can practice that stuff on, that detail stuff on little 
carvings like that. Makes you a better carver. I went back to the tile bit and I'm just uh, shaving some of that belly off so his legs are sticking down past so he's just standing on his legs. Shaping that bottom shell a little bit. Here I'm putting the uh, design on his uh, on his uh, bottom shelf. It's pretty similar to the top shelf. It doesn't have quite as many panels. And it's smoother. It doesn't have all the texture, so you can just uh, draw the lines in. Using that little uh, diamond grip bit as a little wheel thing there. It's pretty fine. It can put his little toes in. And then this is a, a plastic brush. Similar to the wire brushes they sell for these. But uh, this one's just plastic. Just gives it a little bit of abrasion and uh, takes all of the uh, little fuzzy stuff off polishes them up a little bit. And this here is that uh, real fine sandpaper. I have a few of these that I bought at a carving show a while back. I don't remember what they what they were called, but just a, just a real fine cone of uh, fine sandpaper. Not really shaping it here. I'm just taking the uh, little uh, edges that the cutting tools leave, rounding everything off. I did take a, a little bit of a buffing wheel and some uh, rouge and just went over it real quick with a little buffing wheel. Uh, mostly it's just a shell 
just to give it a little bit of a shine. And there's the other little turtle, his little buddy there. Well, I got this week's carving done. This is uh, half of a king avocado seed, dried out. And uh, he was a lot of fun, little turtle. So, if you like this video, uh, turtle recall, then uh, hit the thumbs up and thanks for watching.